The idea for this recording is that to tell you negative relationship between interest rates and investments. Suppose there are four projects, A, B, C, and D. Now, the rate of return on A is 5%, on B is 10%, on C is 15%, and on D is 20%. And uh, when the borrowing rate of interest is 5%, how many projects you think are feasible out of this? When borrowing rate of interest is 5%, then project A is feasible? Yes, because it is giving me at least the rate of return, which is equal to my borrowing rate of interest. Is project B feasible? Yes, even this is feasible because it is giving me a higher rate of return than my borrowing interest rate. Is project C and D, uh, are project C and D feasible? Yes, they are feasible because they are giving me higher rate of interest, higher rate of return than my cost, which is 5%. So, it means that at 5%, all of these projects are feasible because they all of them are giving me higher rate of return or at least the rate of return, which is equal to my borrowing rate. So I can borrow this much amount. So in order to carry out project A, I need to borrow 100. In order to carry out project B, I need to carry out 200. In order to carry out project C, I need to carry in, I need to borrow 300. In order to carry out project D, I need to borrow 400. So at 5%, since all of these projects are feasible, I can borrow this much amount of money, the sum of all of this, okay, because all of them are feasible, so I can borrow them. So at 5%, I could borrow uh, 100 plus 200 plus 300 plus 400, which is equal to 1000. So I can invest this 1000 amount of borrowings, okay. So at 5%, the level of investment is 1000. Now, when interest rate goes up to 10%, is project A feasible? No, project A is not feasible because this is giving me less rate of return than my cost. So how many projects are feasible? There are three projects which are feasible, B, C and D. B is giving me at least the rate of return which is equal to my cost. So how much amount I'll borrow? I'll borrow 200 plus 300 plus 400 which is 900. So at 10%, this is the amount of investment which I'll make, that is 900. At 15%, project A and B are not feasible. They're giving me lesser rate of return than my cost. So I will borrow for only project C and D. So how much I have to borrow? 700. And at project D, uh, sorry, at 20% rate of interest, neither project A nor project B and C are feasible. So I'll borrow only for project D, which is 400. So I'll borrow 400. So what you have seen is that when interest rates are going up, investment is falling. Okay, can I put this in a little more? When interest rates are going up, investments are falling. This is what you have to show. And this is what you have shown. That is at 20% rate of rate of interest, how much is the amount you have borrowed? 400. Okay, this is one point on the investment curve. At 15% rate of interest, how much amount you have borrowed and hence invested? 700. At 10% rate of interest, how much amount you have borrowed or invested? This, yeah, this is 900. At 5% rate of interest, how much amount you have borrowed and hence invested? thousand. So as interest rates have fallen, they have fallen, the amount of investment has increased. And this is the relationship between the interest rates and investment. So there is a negative relationship between interest rates and investment.